Yes, my PlayStation account logo is a sheep from Spyro or something. No, I don't regret it. Yes, we're here playing Spider-Man Miles Morales. Well, more accurately, I'm here playing it. And I thought, what's the best way for me to make a video on this game and have fun? and also battle exhaustion because I haven't slept in six months. Somebody get me out of this basement. Oh yeah, it's have fun by ruining the fun for everybody else. Before we begin this video, it is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. Wallets feel like a necessary evil. They're big, they're lumpy, they're ugly, they bulge in your pants. What if they didn't have to be? The Ridge Wallet is light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold, it doesn't bulge, there's no lumpiness, and yet they serve beautifully as wallets that help keep you organized as well. They carry up to 12 cards and have a clip for cash. And on top of that, they save you a considerable amount of space in your pocket, being only a fraction of the size of your average wallet. There are over 30 different colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium, so you can find one to match your style. On the topic of security, the Ridge Wallet is made with RFID blocking technology, which protects you from digital pickpocketers. They're stylish, practical, secure, and they're even robust, so you won't need to replace it. And as a testament to their quality, they've got over 40,000 five-star reviews. With an option like this on the market, why settle for a wallet designed in the 90s? For 10% off, with free worldwide shipping and returns, go over to their site at ridge.com forward slash fishy and use the code fishy. And with the holiday season breathing down our necks, who knows? Maybe you know somebody who could benefit from a gift like this. You can find a link in the description. And with all that said, now back to the video. So here we are. I'm Spider-Man, as you can see, the loveliest of guys. I want to see if I can get hit by this van. Come on, ruin my Christmas. It's November, I'm not in the spirit yet. Just run me over. How about you? Will you run me over? Is that a Prius? I love how they went, you know what? Let's be faithful to taxis as much as possible. And so they whipped out a taxi design that looks like a Prius. That looks like an epic movie, the first and last day. Of what? Whee! This is the place. Boop. <laughs> I love how you can fall over in this game. I can have so much fun just doing that. Come on, Miles, let's fall over. You are Spider-Man. Watch. Look at that. And you can just see where I landed and dragged my body across the snowed over roads a little bit. What are you looking at? Hello, sir. Yeah, there we go. Let's throw a bin at him. I think they've failed to spell fresh here. The bagels better be good. Let me in, I'm Spider-Man, I want some bagels and I'm slow motion running into your door. There's a smoothness to this game that I don't think the, um, yeah. You know what, forget I said anything. There's a smoothness to this game that I don't think, um, Spider-Man on the PS4 had. Like, Miles just, when he's doing his moves and acro stuff and all that, it just feels so smooth and cool and awesome. And the reason why is because... Because I like falling over, I guess. With the haptic feedback on the PS5 controller, you could turn it into a really, really intriguing sex toy. Just a thought, guys. Just a thought for all the creative gamers out there. Who is this man? Can I go and give him a kiss? No, I have to punch him in the face. Is there a snowman up here? Who came up here and built a snowman? Can I kick it? Can I destroy the snowman? I can destroy the snowman! Swing kick. Wee. 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 Boop. Boop. I am Spider-Man. Oh, another one. I have a question. How does a geezer who can not even pay his rent manage to build this sort of technology? Into the ground with you, you sweaty bastard. What am I doing? I'm so glad that these guys are courteous enough to wait because I honestly haven't got a clue what's so important about this bin, Miles. Here we go. Oh look, actual bad guys. That snowman's back. I can't be having that. Why are the holograms still attacking me? There's more pressing threats here. For example, the non-hologram bad guys. Whee! I like how he's up there now. Hello, sir. Oh, he's got his gun back. Shit. Oh, I leveled up. I'm level three. Which is power that nobody has ever seen before. Who is this man? And who is, who is that? Crime in progress? This sounds like a job for somebody else because I simply can't be asked. Right, criminals, you've chosen the wrong day to piss me off. I'm here to beat the shit out of you and your parents. Let's go. And look at that, a crime has been stopped. I love how they're pointing guns at the car. There is nobody in the car. You want to know why? Because I threw them all out of it. I don't know what this man's looking for. He's pointing his gun at nothing. 
Ah, Roxxon. Definitely doesn't sound like an evil organization. I've been playing video games for far too long to know that they're anything but bad. Then we go. Now look at the reflections on this floor and tell me that they aren't sexy. I don't think they're quite where they should be. The frame rate has dropped through the floorboards, but look at the floor! Tell me that you wouldn't piss on that floor and then lick it up purely out of the joy of looking at that glorious ray tracing, because come on. In fact, I think somebody's already done it. It would explain a lot. Futuristic tech villain guy. It is a classic superhero game, after all. And now my spine is practically soup. The only reason I'm doing this video is to talk about that cat. I'm not even gonna lie. Have that in your face. Because every evil organization these days has more members than there are members of the public, apparently. How did you recruit this many people? This many people don't even exist. Ah, uh, you see, well, that's the trick of being an evil super organization. You know what? I really respect the purple. It's a good, it's a good color choice. Because it stands out against the red that is their blood when I no doubt murder them. Wait, this isn't that kind of game? What do you mean? Oh, there's a crime in progress. Don't look at me. It's right next to a fucking police station. I've made it to the top of this blasted skyscraper. Ow. We're not even halfway down the building. Right, we're going to have to go back to the top and try again. That was really fun. Here we are. Home. Sweet. Bag. I live in the bag. It's like a TARDIS, I swear. <laughs> I've always wondered, how do superheroes get changed really quickly? Like, we've been here a whole 0 0.3 seconds or some shit, and he's already non-Spider-Man. And he'll still sucker punch your dad. Ah! Don't worry about the bowl. Shit in the bowl. I invited a guest. Get the apartment ready. Ah, yes, the job for a superhero. Hey, this must be my mum's bedroom. Whatever you do, don't go into any of these drawers, Miles. Why is there this painting of this bloke right in front of the entrance to the apartment? What? Who is this? Miles stares at the painting longingly. He's really satisfied with it. On with the tree. Turn on the tree, Miles. Ah, yes. Look at that. Me too. Jingle bells, jingle bells, it's still fucking November, get over yourselves. Oh no, a convenient power cut, what's next? I am an electrician. This is your perfect opportunity, Miles, just, just escape. They're in this room. All the, all the game is, hello everyone, tis I. Hello. <laughs> I'm Spider-Man, isn't it cool? Oh my god, imagine, <laughs> imagine, right? You live in an apartment with your son. The power goes out, your son goes out to check everything's alright. You look out the window and you see this. What are you going to do? Why doesn't Miles just go through the window that he opened to leave instead of risking exposing himself like this? Would you like to buy some car insurance? Bow me in, this is my end now. Yeah, of course, it, there'd always be one of these guys here, wouldn't there? I'm sure that isn't important, we didn't need it anyway. It's about to kick off as there are more of them. Well, he's going to need a dentist or maybe ten of them to reconstruct his mouth after a punch that lethal. God knows how many dentists that'll take. Ow! You know what? I had that coming. I just kicked that man over a fence. Hey, I was coming over to see you, dickhead. I really love how this game looks. It just looks fantastic. It truly is, and it's really satisfying and glorious as well. Hello, sir. I think he's in dire need of a new kidney now. And his face is now a part of the box. Knocked out. You know, I wouldn't be staring at that for trying to figure out how I can fix it because I'm not an expert in this kind of thing, but that looks pretty fucked to me. This is the worrying moment where an electrician in the comments goes, you'd be surprised what we can get working. I know that Spider-Man isn't really like a killer or anything like that, but I think a punch with enough force to launch you into the air is going to do some serious lasting damage, don't you? Ah, 
Well, as you can see, everyone appears to be moderately unconscious or in dire need of medical attention. It's usually one or the other, but never both. Evil people have enough time to put that there. If they didn't put this there, they probably would have had enough time to actually, you know, carry out and complete their evil doings. I knocked them all out and they've all vanished. Jesus. Ah, it's kicking off. As per usual, the NYPD find themselves battling futuristic spacemen, and yet they're still using bog-standard pistols. These bad guys seem to be getting this mental gear about that we just can't seem to do much against. Let's keep using our ineffective little pistols. Whee! Have that one in your face. How many explosives do these guys need? You may shoot me with your plasma weapon, but I am throwing your bombs into the sky. Oh, well, that hurt a bit, I'll be honest. Hang on, what's going on over there? I want to watch this. I don't even want to get involved. I just want to witness this. How can you miss at point blank? Named after the real Spider-Man. Bunch of jerks broke in here and robbed my place. Think they took Spider-Man too. It's awful. You see where they went? The man oh, named his cat Spider-Man. Who names a cat Spider-Man? It's a cat. Not a spider. Nor is it a man. I propose we give it a new name. Shit cat. Stop it. I feel like fighting in this room is a cluster fuck. As far as cramped corridor fights go, this one's been alright. Ah, big man comes in, taking care of a cat. Why are there so many thugs in every building? Pretty sure there are more criminals in New York at this point in this game than there are actual just random people who are just trying to get about their daily lives in peace. That took a while. What is it? Defeat one and two show up in his place? Why are they terrifyingly identical? Wearing the same clothes. It's the exact same size. Well, that might have hurt a bit. Is he down? Finally. There you go. Spider Cat Man. Cat. Spider Cat Man Cat. Spider-Man the cat saved. See how quickly we just finessed our way out of that building? I have a question. Wanna do these flips and shit? How does the cat stay in the bag? Oh. The cat is gone. Can I lob a snowman at somebody? Have a snowman's head. Have the rest of the snowman's body. Oh yeah? What's that? Spider-Man! Time to leave. 